ChatGPT uses water, but people are getting it wrong. So you've probably seen videos flying around talking about how much water ChatGPT uses. Now, we need to think about this in terms of equivalences. One of the higher estimates is that ChatGPT uses 17 ounces of water per request. That's probably too high, but let's use it in the maths. Let's compare it to drinking milk. There are lots of different estimates from 166 gallons of water to produce one gallon of milk to 880 gallons of water to produce one gallon of milk. Let's use the lower one here, 166 gallons. That takes into account the water used to grow the feed for the cows and the water that the cows actually drink. When you run the numbers on this, the amount of water required to create a single gallon of milk is about the same as 1,250 ChatGPT requests. And that's using a conservatively high ChatGPT estimate and a conservatively low milk production estimate. This is not to say that ChatGPT doesn't use energy and it doesn't use water, it does. But we have to be aware of the equivalences here. Everything we do in modern life is going to be using power and water. It's just right now people are very focused on AI as the newest thing that's destroying the environment. There are many other things out there that are even worse. It's just less de jour, less cool to hate on them than it is on AI. So yes, absolutely worry about the energy consumption of ChatGPT. It's large and it's growing. But you need to also run the equivalencies. Look at the numbers for when you are drinking milk, when you are flying on a plane, when you are scrolling TikTok. All of this uses a huge amount of energy. Basically, you need to learn to think for yourself. Don't just follow every clickbait article that you see. We need to address and improve the energy and the water usage of artificial intelligence, but we need to do it from a place of fact, not just what you feel about AI.